Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Winter Queen seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing it step by step so even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it. Don't forget that I also have earrings matching this bracelet and if you subscribe you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you could find a link to these earrings in description. You might also like, share and comment, which is a great support and in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of Super Duo or Twin Beads. Here I'm also using 11 0 seed beads in two colors, white and silver. I'm using here only one 8 0 bead to attach my jump ring and I'll show you how later. And I'm also using here a clasp and a jump ring as you may see. And this is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or size 12, whatever you have. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump ring to my work. And now I'm going to take about 60 centimeters of thread on my needle, which is about two feet of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up six white super dues and six silver 11 0 seed beads. And I'm alternating them, one silver and one white, and this repeats six times. Okay, now I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I need to make a knot. And how I do this, I just make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made to make in this way a really secure surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And then I make one more knot, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay. And then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction. Then guys, what I want to do as I'm exiting from this inner hole of this super duo, I want to zigzag and go through its empty hole. And in this way I'm changing directions, but don't worry because it's a wanted effect. Okay, now you see what I have here. I'm exiting out of the outer hole of this super duo. And I take two blue super duos and I go in the outer empty hole of the next super duo. And I'm going to continue the same way until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm here at my last step where after I go through this white bead, I'm also going through the next blue beads and I'm pulling. Then what I do is again zigzag through the bead that I'm exiting out of. And in this way, I'm changing directions, exiting out of its empty outer hole this one here and I take three white beads I go in the next empty hole of the following bead I take one 
silver super dual and I go in the next hole. Three whites go in the next bead. One silver go in the next bead. Then again three whites go in the next bead. One silver go in the next bead. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, and now what I want to do is to go around one more time through all of the beads that I have here because my thread is soft and I want my work to stay stiffer. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I just reinforced this part. And now what I want to do is to make one more element absolutely the same one as this and uh, I'm not cutting my thread to both of them. Now what I want to do is take one of those just like this and as I'm exiting from this silver one I'm going through the empty hole of the same silver. Okay, after that I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, then I will continue with my next element that I showed you. Okay, this one. Now you should reposition your thread so you exit here in the middle white bead. And I take one silver bead. I'm going here in the middle white but from my previous element and I go here in this bead and I'm pulling then what I do is to go through one of those silver beads take a white one and go through this silver here empty hole of the next silver super dual then take three white beads and go here in the empty hole of the next silver super dual a white one again and go one more time through this silver one in the center that i added and one additional reinforcement I go here in this direction next to the tree that I just added 
Then I go through the first one of those three. I skip the central white bead. And I go like this. And like this. Now I want to repeat the same thing that I did here from this side. And in order to do this, I want to reposition my thread. I'm going in this direction. And I want to exit through the silver one here. One white. Go through the silver. Three whites. Go through the silver. One white. Go here in this silver. And again, white, silver, white. Skip the central and go here. Then I want to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Let's say this place is here making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling then I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread okay guys and I will continue adding more and more elements absolutely the same way if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video make an element then come to the part where I connect them and add it and when I have seven elements I'll be back okay guys and then I continued adding more and more elements absolutely the same way and here I have my seventh elements you could do six or eight as well whatever you like and now guys as I connected this last element I went through all of my beads and now I'm exiting here at this point. What I want to do next is go in this direction and then I will change directions by going and zigzagging through this bead. Okay, then I take four white beads, silver 11 and four white beads, and I'm going like this through this bead. Okay, and I'm not showing the reinforcement and the making of a knot because I showed you this when I was doing it from the other side. And now what I need to do next is to open up this jump ring. And I will put it here. And then I'm closing. And then guys, what I need to do is just close my bracelet and it's ready. Okay guys, and now my Winter Queen's bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, you could subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment. In this way, you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for useful resources, for a link for matching earrings and for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. 
Also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.